I figure it's about time to give you guys another devlog, show you where I am with this Souls-like demo template. I've added a few features and it's getting closer to done, but um, I'm getting a little bit tired of working on it, so I might just tie a bow on it and get this out to you guys sooner rather than later, even though there may be some bugs or some things that aren't perfect. Um, but again, the idea is to build out a sort of demo or template to show how to make a Souls-like uh, style game. And the idea would be to as well be able to quickly swap out your own models, uh, swap in your own models and replace what I've got here um, with inheritable animations and all the logic in place. So I could swap out this dude with your dude and all the weapon changing and all the different animations would immediately work. You, could, you, you wouldn't have to like build it all from scratch or anything. Um, so some new features are I did add a perfect parry. So if an enemy, ah, if an enemy hits and I block just in time, it will stun them. Um, that works for the boss as well, but timing is always, you know, critical. It's pretty hard to do. <laughs> and uh, if you do perfect parry, you don't lose the stamina. You don't get the uh, stamina punishment for that. Um, still cleaning up a few of the animations to make them a little bit nicer. Uh, so those will be changed a little bit more before the end of this. Uh, as I've shown before, there are multiple weapons, but I didn't want to build out an inventory system because that would vary very, uh, quite a bit depending on whether you're doing a different type of inventory system. So I simply just put it so <laughs> you have all your weapons currently, and as you push the weapon change button, you'll cycle through all of them. Gladius, broadsword, spear, uh, mace. And currently there are three weapon types in the way I've built it so far. There are slash weapons, there are heavy weapons like the mace and the greatsword, uh, and there are thrust weapons like the spear, but you can easily put in like a rapier or some sort of weapon like that, and it would look pretty good with these animations as well. <clears throat> There's a, the dodge forward, as you know, the dodge backward as well. Those are invulnerability frames. You can't be hurt while that's going on. Um, you also have the left-hand weapons like the shield uh, or the crossbow or the uh, torch. Every single item can block, as you just saw, but of course the shield will do that best. It has the best stats for it. Um, crossbow can shoot. It's got realistic bullet drop as well. Kind of cool. Boom! Slam him with that. Um, we can heal. Boop. Let's uh, hurry down here to the boss to show you that as well. I'll probably make him a two-stage boss just again to show how that works, where once his health gets down halfway down, he'll have new attacks that he does um, rather than always cycling through the same ones. Let's go take him on. Ah, actually, let's take care of you first. I should add sound and music too. I'll get on that. All right, so here's the big boss. Boom, it's got a few big scary moves. Um, you'll see as well that there are like slash uh, streaks, like when he punches, you can see when he's lethal, basically. Whenever you see a streak, uh, either from his hands or his face, or, or even myself when my weapon makes a little streak, that's when the hitbox is active. Um, that's thanks to, I think it's the proton uh, streak uh, scripts from asset library. They were great. I just added those in here as well. Um, that's probably the only thing I think I've borrowed directly from another project, which is interesting and great. I feel pretty good about how this is all coming together. Anyway, if you kill him, it's a, it's a you win the game. Or if you uh, get to the treasure, <laughs> you win the game. And it's just a demo, so it's meant to show all that. Um, some of the stuff worth showing, maybe just for a moment, is the animation trees, because I know that's when people get a little hung up. Um, and yeah, it, it is pretty complex, but it's all set up for you. And since most of the stuff is done in code and just talks to these, uh, once you bring in your own character, um, you won't have to. You won't really want to touch anything. All this logic is still going to work with another character exactly the same way. You just you know, drag and drop in like the weapon bones and stuff onto your character skeleton, and it will just inherit everything just fine. Um, so I have sub segmented this as I've got like all the movement stuff down here. And things like the states, like I'm alive and I'm dead, uh, I'm falling. That's all this stuff down here. Uh, a few one shots that where I do still want blending to happen for the arms, like when I'm dodging or when I'm activating something, drinking a potion. I still want a certain amount of blending for my left arm, right arm. So all this stuff is stuff where blending can still be affected. Up here we have the uh, right hand and left hand, the right arm and left arm, um, where those can blend in on top of running or, or jumping or whatever. Um, so if I'm holding a heavy weapon, I'll keep holding it on my shoulder even when uh, these actions that happened beforehand took place. Um, 
and I'll, I'll point those out in a sec, what those are for the right arm and left arm. Um, everything after that is stuff that will override even the left arm, right arm blending, which is stuff like getting hurt um, and having your guard be broken. For left arm and right arm, everything is subdivided. So we have a right arm is everything like your, your attack trees, your heavy weapon tree, slash tree, and thrust tree, which are controlled by transitions. Depending on whatever weapon you have equipped, it will change what weapon type animation tree it's going to pull animations from, um, swapping between these. And these are all subtrees. <laughs> Inside each tree, it is the same. So the heavy tree is the same as the thrust tree, is the same as the, uh, whoop, where was I? Same as the slash tree. They all look the same. They all have the same names. That way, the code can, it doesn't care what weapon it is, it's still going to call the same requests. But because the tree is different, it's going to, uh, call from the correct tree and then you'll get the right animation. Um, so we've got some sort of idle for whatever weapon type you're holding, um, attack one, attack two, and then the strong attack. And so you could add more to this and you can all easily add more weapon types. I just only decided to do three just to show you guys how it's going to work. Um, you will get the full animation library as well. And there are a lot of animations I did not use in this controller. Like there are some regular bow animations that I decided not to use and opted for a crossbow instead. Um, because bow is a two-handed animation. I want to keep left arm and right arm completely independent uh, because of different scales of skeletons, whether using a big character or a little character, that's going to be affected, uh, and things wouldn't line up. So like, you know, aiming and shooting would look really funny if you were using a different character with different scaled arms and legs. Um, the gadget works quite similar, gadget arm, uh, left arm, except for there are uh, animations here that can override what's going on over here, like uh, parrying uh, and, of course, the weapon swap blocking. Um, you can see there's a shield, tr a shield tree type, stick tree type, and crossbow type for your gadgets. Um, any weapon, any item could be given a, you know, a, a weapon, a gadget type of crossbow, stick, or shield, and it would then uh, know which tree to pull from. Um, I gave all the other weapon, I gave all the weapons and gadgets, uh, both weapon type and gadget types. So you could equip like a broadsword as a gadget in your left hand, and it would likely inherit. I believe it's the uh, the stick tree. I can show that too. Like, uh, uh, actually, let me go. Let me go directly to the, the arm where it is, so you can see it in the inspector. Yeah, the gladius. We'll just click on the gladius. So the gladius, uh, everything pulls from this basic weapon script, um, and for like the gladius, we've got light power, strong power, critical chance, because you can't have a critical chance of, of a higher weapon power, and then using a nooms, uh, we've got. Weapon move set. It's either going to be a slash, heavy, or thrust. Gadget move set. Either stick, crossbow, or shield. And then a uh, attack group. Whether this weapon is being used by a player against an enemy, or whether it's used by an enemy against a player. Um, there's players. There's interactables. There's enemies, and there's the world. Um, every weapon has these same stats because they're all used. The basic weapon script is being used on every single item, whether an enemy is holding it or whether a player is holding it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of where it's at at the moment. Uh, I'll get this finished up here hopefully real soon and get it out to you guys. How exciting. <laughs> All right, take care.